hi it's Hinda and welcome to a new baking video on cooking fantasies if you are new to my channel I post about one video a week so far only baking but I will also be doing cooking videos soon so make sure you subscribe to my channel and let's get to it in today's video we will be celebrating autumn with a delicious apple pie we will make a base of pâte sucrée or sweet shortcrust pastry we will fill it with apples and raisins and we'll be adding a crunchy top layer made of almond flakes and honey so make sure to watch till the end for all the tips and instructions you need to realize this delicious pie. For all the ingredients in grams and cups measurements, I will leave you down below in the description box. And let's get baking. So first we will prepare the sweet short crust pastry. Very basic and very easy. Mix all the dry ingredients together, sift the flour, the powder sugar, then add the salt and the almond powder and give them a quick whisk to mix everything together. And now grate the butter directly into the dry ingredients and it should be very cold and right out of the fridge and it's better to cut it into pieces this way it won't mince in your fingers while grating it. And finally add the egg and use only your fingertips to work the dry ingredients into the butter softly and gently and try to use only the fingertips and not to overwork the dough. As soon as it starts holding together and you don't have any crumbs left, it means it's already ready. Now wrap it in a food safe plastic wrap and place it in the fridge for at least half an hour or up to three hours. The longer the better. And let's prepare the apple filling. And for this, peel, core and cut the apples into thin slices. I used gala apples, but there is no rule. You can basically use whatever kind of apples you prefer. All apples taste good. And of course, keep adding some lemon juice to prevent them from turning brown until you have all the apples ready. In a pan or a saucepan with a thick bottom on a medium heat, add the butter, sugar, vanilla extract and the raisins. And keep stirring until the butter melts totally and then allow to simmer for a further minute. Now add the sliced apples and the cinnamon and allow them to cook on medium to low heat for another 5 to 6 minutes until they are tender but still not breaking apart. And now we go back to the sweet short crust pastry. So take about the two thirds from the dough and roll it out between two pieces of parchment paper. And you can of course dust with flour as needed to prevent it from sticking. And the colder the dough, the easier it will be to work with it. I used a 23 cm, that's 9 inches spring form pan. You can also use a 20 cm spring form pan, that's about 7.8 inches. And I layer the bottom with parchment paper. So flip the dough into the spring form pan and press it against the sides and the corners. And the point is to try to touch it as less as possible. And then proceed as you see in the video to add the sides. Just make sure to even it out. And using a parchment paper will avoid you the butter melting and sticking to your hands. And you can use the back of a small spoon to push the edges slightly back. Then pierce it with a fork and bake it for 10 minutes in 170 degrees Celsius. That's 338 Fahrenheit preheated oven with only bottom heat on. And as soon as you take it out of the oven, use the back of a spoon to push it back against the pan for a more even finish. And now sprinkle with about 1 tablespoon breadcrumbs before you add the apple filling. The breadcrumbs will absorb the extra moist and allow the crust to stay crunchy. 
and as you can see the apple slices are quite tender and well infused with the butter and cinnamon now put the same pan again on the medium heat and add the sugar the milk and honey and keep stirring till the sugar melts then add the almond flakes And if you prefer to, you can add a handful of chopped nuts at this point as soon as you take it out of the heat. Sprinkle the filling again with some breadcrumbs and then spread the almonds and honey mixture on top. And finally, bake your pie for 40 minutes in 170 degrees Celsius, that's 338 Fahrenheit till golden brown. If the pie gets brown before the time is over, cover it with aluminium foil and finish baking so that it doesn't burn from the top. And once out of the oven, allow it to totally cool for at least one hour before attempting to open the spring form. When still warm, the short crust pastry is still very fragile and would easily break. Finally, dust with some powdered sugar and it's ready to enjoy. This pie is one of my favorite autumn trays. It's very delicious, you must try it. It also goes well with walnuts and pecans. So if you like those, don't hesitate to add some. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you still have any questions regarding the recipe, ask me down below in the comment section. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and see you soon with a new recipe. Happy baking.